Welcome back. Uh, Great Life Coaching here has been a little bit. I'm here at work right now and uh, just to explain what I do. I'm a case manager for a mental health clinic. What does that mean? Uh, the state has deemed me as what they call a qualified mental health professional. What does that mean? It, it basically uh, gives me the ability to see clients not only as a case manager but also as a clinician. So, um, no, we're not giving therapy, although we do some therapeutic things. It's more like coping skills, uh, motivational interviewing, uh, IMR, seeking safety, um, other things that we learn to help uh, people in our community. I, I will say most people that come into our clinic, it's uh, for uh, depression, anxiety, uh, bipolar disorders, um, drug use, um, other things uh, and then some of our clients are also here because of uh, suicidal ideation so I've decided to do this as a way for therapy for myself and a way to just discuss mental health with anybody who's interested uh, uh, and I'm in my truck right now because uh, if I do it in my office you know people will be curious but uh, it's not uh, it's a good job it has a lot of rewards but I will say we get in the field of case management or or mental health professional at the bachelor's degree level um, I, I'm glad and and proud to call myself a clinician because uh, we do get to help people but we also have times where uh, we come across people that we want to help but then just uh, turns for the worse and, and our clinic's kind of dealing with that right now uh, even though it's a consumer or a client that we didn't all see we feel it as a unit because uh, first of all all the other case managers in the building and peer support family partner uh, we're a big family we're not always happy but for the most part we're a big family we kind of lean on each other for support uh, we like to laugh we like to play all other stuff like that however um, right now we're going through a hard time because we did have a consumer uh, that one of our case managers was seeing that uh, actually followed through and killed herself through suicide um, we, we're all being affected by it right now it's very deflated time um, but it's a real part of the job we do so if you're interested in getting into mental health profession um, I will let you know that uh, there are some very hard times as well as rewarding times so right now you know we're lucky that we're surrounded by people that are trained for this but at the same time we're all going through at the same time and it makes it a little bit difficult to deal with because emotionally we're feeling it we're really feeling it and uh, you know, I just uh, do what I can. I have an open door for anybody who wants to talk to me. Um, and and they do. They come in and talk to me. And I, I'm, I'm happy I can be that person. So you might be asking yourself, well, if, everybody's, if some people are talking to me, who do I talk to? I talk to my wife, who also has a degree in, biology, in uh, excuse me, psychology. Um, but she's my more than my person. She's my coach, my therapist, everything else. So I'm glad I have good support at home. And if I need to, if I want to, I can get help. Uh, we have other uh, LPCs and LPHAs here in the building or in the company I can reach out to. But just some information, just some venting. There's no real subject to this. It's just how my day is going. If you're interested, I appreciate it. If um, you have questions, let me know. Um, I will be talking about other things. I'll, I'll talk about things that come up with clients that I'm either not familiar with or that I just feel a general general need in our community. It's a small community we work in, but doesn't mean that they don't have problems. Anyway, this is Great Life Coaching. Uh, hope you have a good day. I'll check you all out later. Bye.